Hey, how you doing everybody? Um, Monster made a video about Mary Baxter and I was given mixed reviews from people about that video and um, some of them were bad and everything and some of them said false things about me and uh, well that's alright, you know? That's what happens when you come speaking the truth and everything. And I would, did not go on there to try to demean Mary Baxter or try to say anything bad or mean about her or anything. I love her and everything. I don't know her. And, uh, but she is a false teacher and I still believe that even a year from now today. Well, even today, just as I did believe that about a year ago, because I'm not going to take her word over what the Word of God says, and it's kind of a shame that you have to believe what she says over what the Bible says. I mean, let me ask you, isn't the Bible enough to believe? <laughs> Is it enough to believe in hell? I mean, Jesus talked about hell more than he did about heaven, you know? And even what he talked about, hell, that should be enough for you, you know? But locking people up in cages who are saints of God and everything, you, you show me in the Bible where Jesus talked about that, his apostles, or even Paul talked about that. I mean, you show me in the Bible where even Daniel, or probably even Job, or David, where they were locked behind cages. No, when they died, they was there with Abraham and Lazarus until the Lord came because they never got to hear the gospel. And they were never exposed to that. So that's why they were never covered in the blood of Jesus. And that's why they were there. You know? And they didn't have their opportunity. But he came and he rescued them from Sheol, paradise, which I now believe that paradise, where Abraham and Lazarus is at, is in heaven. And the paradise was there, that was there, it's not there anymore, you know? But there are some things I'm going to shock you about this. There's some things that I actually believe and agree with Mary Baxter, what she was talking about. And I'm just going to give you a handful of things that I agree with her about. One, hell is real, and hell is a place you want to avoid you know and hell is not a place where the saints of God are at you know Jesus didn't go through everything that he went through just so that they could end up there the times be lost the time salvation just to lose it again you don't think saints of God that we're not too far out of reach of God's hand to pull us back his reach is farther than you think you know and his saving power and his grace and his blood which covers us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness that well we've strayed far too long he don't want nothing to do with us anymore so when we die we're going to hell that's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that to whom the Son is set free is free indeed. You are free from the clutches of sin. You are free from the bondage of sin forever. That doesn't mean that we're not going to still sin, but we're covered by the blood of Jesus, amen, that washes us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. And His blood which cleansed their record and wiped their record 
clean. He's blood washed as white as snow. People in hell are not there because